Dr. David Schwartzberg. Let's talk about a three-stage J pouch. We are commonly performing a three-stage J pouch because a lot of patients are being tried in a lot of medications um, before they need a definitive surgery. And so in that situation, if the patient's very sick or malnourished or been on steroids or biologics, the safest thing to do is to do a three-stage J pouch. In addition, that gives us the opportunity to examine the entire colon to further help determine if it's Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. But for the first stage of a J pouch, you divide here and you divide here. What that means is the rectum is left in place and this terminal ileum is made into an end ileostomy. The rest of the colon gets removed. The patient now you know, eats and has an endoleostomy. The rectum is left in place. Typically, the second stage, which is done typically six months later when the patient mentally and physically is doing well and is not on any medication, you perform a proctectomy, which is taking out the rectum, you take down the ileostomy, the rectum is removed, the anal canal is left in place, and then the small bowel is made into the shape of a J, and through a series of staple firings, is made to look like a reservoir, which functions as a rectum. Now to let this heal, you then take this piece of intestine and make that into a diverting loop ileostomy. It's very important that this is connected to the anal canal. We're seeing, unfortunately, people leaving some rectum in place when they have this operation. So from here to here, there's ongoing proctitis, which is called, you know, which is inflammation of the rectum. And this can cause a lot of problems with the J pouch not functioning properly. And a lot of times when it's not functioning, it looks like it's Crohn's disease, but it's not Crohn's disease. The problem is the rectum was left in place. The way it's supposed to be done, where the entire rectum is removed up until the anal transition zone, there should really be no rectum left. So then the third stage, after you do a gastrograph and enema to make sure there's no leaks, usually that's three months later, Third stage is usually a very happy time because the patient has made it through all these different operations and all you have to do is reverse the ileostomy and now they have their J pouch. Thank you.